Hi, and welcome to this week's Java with Jason. Well, we survived the winter vortex storms of 2014, and uh, I hope you're doing really, really well. I can't believe it's already February. So as we head into February, we're heading uh, close into tax return time. So I want to share with you a couple things. As your clients and borrowers come into tax season, things that could affect your ability to, to purchase a loan or could affect your pre-approval. So there's four things that we're going to talk about today. Number one, when you file your tax returns, one thing that we look at as a mortgage lender is income trends. And we will look at your 2012 to 2013, 2013 income, and we look to see if that income is declining. So if you have declining income from 2012 to 2013, that could pose a serious issue for getting pre-approved whatsoever. So the second thing, so if you have questions that, be sure and let us know. The second thing is unreimbursed business expenses. That's what's called a, a, a form called 2106 on your tax returns. This is for regular employees who claim unreimbursed expenses. So these items would be uh, things such as travel expenses, uniforms, meals, that type of stuff. Um, when you write that off, we have to deduct that from your salary, um, straight dollar for dollar. The third thing is Schedule C filing. So if you're a W-2 employee and you have a side business or even if you're married and your significant, significant others on the loan and they have a side business, if you're showing a loss in your Schedule C, we have to deduct that from your salary or your, your hourly wage as well too, which could affect your the, the income we use for qualifying. Um, and the last thing I want to go over today is a schedule uh, is your Schedule E for real estate. So uh, clients who have uh, investment properties and things of that nature. If you write too much off on that investment property or you just don't claim the income that happens from time to time, that could really affect your, your pre-qualification or pre-approval. So these are the four things you need to watch out for as you go into the house buying season of the spring and when you're filing your taxes. If you have any questions whatsoever, I understand this is a complex, one of the most complex things in residential mortgage lending. So if you have any questions, just give us a shout here at the office. We have plenty of people here, myself included, that are experts in these tax returns and make sure that uh, when we give you that pre-approval, -appro pre you're ready to buy that house. So talk to you soon and have a great week.